to work for three months or four months and to grow. And certainly, you know, if you weren't growing, you'd know about it from me. Uh, and not sit down and really then really make a tremendous effort to deepen your work permanently is really stupid because nothing has value unless you're consciously aware of it. And no work, no benefit that you get will ever remain yours unless you sit down consciously and have within you a sense of new muscle, a sense of new value towards the work. And truly, work brings work. It brings energy, it brings opening of muscle, it brings enlightenment. You have to really get inside you know, yourself every few months and really, in a sense, take stock, feel, and then use it. It's really having a whole new set of muscles which you can use again. And if you don't do this, you'll lose any benefit, really, that you will have gotten you know, over the period, say, of four months. So try to do this tonight, and certainly when Barbara's here, it's again another reason. All of these things have to become reasons to become deeper, reasons to work harder. We find a million reasons for not working. I mean, I have a date, I have a movie, I have a theater, I have this, I have a headache, I have everything becomes a reason not to work. And to truly get anywhere spiritually, everything has to become a reason to work. It really all becomes inclusive, because as you work, time changes for you because your muscles stretch, you know, these inner muscles stretch, your capacity to perform, everything increases. And you have to begin to realize you can do everything plus that and everything plus something else. There's no end to it. I mean, I have a lot of people who wonder, how can you possibly teach here and teach in the country? They don't even know I have a business. They don't even know I have a million other things running for me. But it isn't that I can do all of them. I can do only do all of them because I have so many different things to do, because everything balances everything else. It has to be only with really joy in your heart, gratitude in your heart, this thing of wanting to do and enjoying doing, you know? When it becomes hard and it becomes terrible and it becomes a drag, it's because you make it that. You have to look at it and begin to find the extraordinary, the really extraordinary part of it, the wonderful things, the things that are full of wonder.